Hi, welcome to Sumri P. Today I'm sharing a super treat for the weekend, my spelt flour cinnamon buns. If you don't like spelt, swap it out for regular flour. I have a little bit of extra cinnamon in my dough. They're light, they're fluffy, and they're a great sweet treat. So if you'd like to see how I make my spelt cinnamon buns, come with me and let's see. So step one for our spelt cinnamon buns today, you need to warm up some milk. I use oat milk because that's what I have on hand. And in there I've melted 50 grams of unsalted butter and that's just warm to touch. And then in this bowl I've got my spelt, white spelt flour. So I'm gonna add that to my stand mixer. You can do this by hand, but I love using my stand mixer because it's easy for me. And I've got my dough hook on there. And in there we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. And I use the instant yeast so I don't have to activate it. So that's dried yeast, seven grams or two teaspoons. And I just like to whisk that together a little bit. And then in here, I like to add a little bit of extra cinnamon to my dough. Not necessary, but I love it. I love the more cinnamon, the better. And then we add all of that liquid into there. Oh, to save washing up, I'm just going to add two eggs. I'm gonna crack two eggs into here. But what I'll do, I'm not gonna put all the egg in there. I'm gonna take out a few teaspoons to leave it for my egg wash. Because we don't really need a whole egg and I often find that you just end up wasting it. So let's take out, I think I ended up doing four or five teaspoons. So the rest will go in there. This is what's called an enriched dough. Enriched dough just means you've got the milk, butter and the eggs to make it moist. Oh, what I should have said, in my milk, there was 300 mils of warm milk, but I took out 50 mils, just in case I don't need it. So I've got that 50 mils sitting here in this jug ready and waiting. So we need, we need to mix this for about eight to 10 minutes. And you know your dough is ready when it starts cleaning the bowl. So I like to put my timer on just to gauge how long it takes. So I'm gonna put an eight minute timer on. I'll let that do its thing and I'll do a bit, little bit of a clean up. I'm just looking at my dough and I think I am gonna add that extra 50 mils of milk. So I'm gonna pour that in now. I always like to err on a more moist dough than anything too dry, especially with spelt flour. And while you're waiting, I've just greased a bowl with a little bit of um, shortening or you can use butter. So that bowl will put our dough in once it's ready. And then grab a damp cloth. I always cover my dough with a damp cloth to let it rise. So I'll have that sitting there ready and waiting. And I've found recently I've liked to do my cinnamon buns in a square tin because with this um, measurement of flour and dough, I get about nine rolls and they're just really nice and even in this. If not, you can use a 23 centimetre round springform tin. But look at that, it's cleaning the bowl. So we're just gonna pump it up a bit. And in here I've got some cinnamon and light brown sugar and butter ready to put in our dough. Just drop that back a little bit. We're up to about, um, it's been going about five minutes. So let's just stop it and have a look. It's looking good, but I think I just might um, need it for the extra three minutes. I reckon that's done. So check that out. Look how lovely and stretchy and elastic that is. So to make the dough easy to get out, I use a, what's called a dough scraper. And I always prepare my hands with a bit of olive oil. Not only makes your hands feel lovely and smooth, but it's easy to get the dough out. So just grab it off the dough hook. So you might think my dough looks a bit darker than other people's dough. It's because I added the cinnamon. So if you want a pure white dough, don't add the cinnamon. So look at that, it's so lovely and moist. So we're just gonna pop that in the bowl. My kitchen's warm, I've had my oven on. So I'm just gonna put that damp cloth over it. And if you don't have a damp cloth, you can pop plastic wrap. Set that aside for about 45 minutes to an hour until it doubles in size. And then we'll come back and we'll start rolling it out. So it's been an hour and I've left my dough and it, look at that, it's doubled in size. It looks beautiful. I call it my little dough baby. And I'm just using my pastry mat and I'm just gonna pop it out onto the mat with this. They just slid out really. And let me 
just need to probably flour my hands, might be a good idea. Add a little bit of flour to that, to my hands and to this rolling pin. I like using the mat because it saves getting my bench dirty. So I'm just going to knock some of the air out. And our aim is to do it so it's about a 30 to 40 centimetre rectangle, give or take. So we'll just knock some of the air out. But it's this lovely elastic dough, which is fabulous. And I can use some of the marks on this pastry mat as a guide. Look at that, it's just stretching really nicely. So what are we up to? So that's 30 centimetres that way. So we're almost there. And I think I've made mine 50. That's fine. I've made it a little bit bigger. It just wants to stretch today, which is fabulous. Sometimes the dough has its own mind on what shape it wants to be. I don't bother trimming off anything. And next thing we grab, I've got some softened butter. There's two tablespoons. So that's just unsalted butter. So that's what I prefer to use. So we're just gonna spread that over. And then in this bowl, I've got 100 grams of light brown sugar, or you can use dark brown sugar. And I've got, I think it's, what have I got? Yeah, three teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So what I like to do is just like to kind of mix it together with my hands. And then I just sprinkle it all over the dough. And if you wanted to add nuts, or what I should have said is leave a little bit of a border around the edge um, so we can roll it up. Yeah, you can add nuts to this or you can add a little bit of apple, but I'm just doing it simple today. Then with my silicon pastry brush, I just grab a little bit of water and I just dab it around that outside edge. That just helps everything kind of stick together. So depending whether you want fat rolls or lots of rolls, you use depending on what side you roll it up. So I'm going to do lots of rolls. I want about nine today. I'm going to start on the long side or you can roll it that way, but you have like lots of rolls, but you'll only get about five or six. So let's start with the edge that's closest to me. I just start doing kind of like a tight roll. That's it. And I try and kind of pump in the sides as I go. That's just my way of doing it. Home cooking, we're not a bakery. We're just doing it so it tastes great. But I think what we'll do, I might just cut those edges off. They look like they want to be cut off today. Just so we can make it look good for the photos. So I like to just do it by eye. So it's probably, let's count it. Place it on our prepared tin. You can use dental floss, but I never have it close by, so I always forget to go and grab it. So I just do it with my knife. I think we might even get 12 out of this dough today. So let's... I've got a few smaller ones. I'm just going to add those to the top. And instead of wasting these edges, I'm just going to shove them in here. And hopefully when it cooks, they'll all just morph into each other. Okay. So they're my cinnamon scrolls. So now I'm going to cover them back again. We're going to let them rise again for about 45 minutes. So I'll put my timer on. Now while we're waiting for those to double in size, I like to get my oven on like so it's super hot before we bake them. So I'm going to pop it on to 180 degrees. Just double check. No, actually I need to put it on 190 fan. And I like to do a little bit of a drizzle of icing. So I've got some icing sugar. So I've got a cup of icing sugar that I've sifted. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk to that. And then just half a teaspoon of vanilla. And that'll be a little drizzle when they come out of the oven. And if you're thinking, I don't want to eat them, I want to make them the day before so they're ready for breakfast the next day. So what I would suggest is let them rise on the kitchen bench for 20 minutes and then cover them with plastic, something secure, pop them in the fridge and then when you get up in the morning, um, get them out of the fridge, let them rest for about at least 45 minutes to an hour until they're room temperature 
and then bake them. And they only take 20 minutes to bake. And so then you've got nice hot buns out of the oven. So I think we need a little bit more milk. So I think we're up to about three and a half tablespoons now. So then our icing will be ready. Now you can add cream cheese to this as well, or butter, but I'm just doing a really simple one today because I don't have any cream cheese. Or you can even add a little bit of lemon. So it's kind of like this runny drizzle like that. So that'll be ready. So let's pop that aside. Dough babies, a little rolls or buns. Look at that, they've kind of doubled in size. Mine aren't perfect, but they always taste great. And I've got that little egg wash that I kept aside. So I'm just gonna go in and brush the tops of them lightly. They're all good to go. Now we're gonna bake these for about 18 to 20 minutes in our hot oven, and then we'll drizzle on the icing. I can't wait to taste them and show you. I'll put the timer for 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them at 18. So I got my cinnamon buns out at 18 minutes and at about 15 minutes, I checked them and one of the sides wasn't browning as well as the other. So I've, I swiveled my tray around. Now let's just start drizzling while it's still warm and they've all morphed into each other. So they look fantastic. And I just drizzle this in a really kind of haphazard way. Nothing fancy. I kind of like it so it's a bit freeform and drizzly. And I'm doing it on the diagonal just for fun. So let's see if I can keep that pretty pattern. You can do more or less icing just depending on how sweet you want it. So they're my cinnamon scrolls. Let me come a little bit closer. So they're my spelt cinnamon buns. Maybe I should try one just in front of you. Okay, I'm trying to test it, but it's so hot. So I've made a mess of that trying to get it out to show you. So let's try it. Mmm, it's so cinnamony, light and fluffy. Mmm, it tastes really good. But I need to taste one with the icing. Crunchy top with the icing tastes amazing. And if I was going to have them tomorrow for breakfast, I'd probably just reheat them a little bit before I eat them. Mm. Hit the thumbs up if you've liked my video. Share it with a friend. Write a comment below if you make it. I'll pop a few links up above for some other spelt bread ideas. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye.